what's up everybody, this is Craig from Nibolt Games, and I'm doing a pickup video today, because over the last week I've actually acquired five games right there, uh, from various different sources, like my wife took me out on Father's Day, and she brought me to GameStop and say buy whatever you want, and of course since it wasn't my money, I didn't go crazy, I just bought, I bought a couple used games that were $5.99 and under, plus it's GameStop, I don't really want to give them money, but they are a pretty good beacon for uh, PS2 games, which uh, right now they're buy two get one free. So that's basically how I did that deal. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'll go from the earliest actually. Pikmin 2 for the Wii. I'm going to leave this unopened. It's still sealed. The reason I'm going to leave this unopened is because the GameCube version of this is actually rare. And judging by the amount that was sent to my local GameStop. Walmart and Target doesn't even have it. <laughs> um, this is also going to be a rare one. Uh, I only saw three copies the day it came out at Walmart. Oh, hey, let's fucking break it. And um, I know the original Pikmin for Wii, I do have it. Uh, there's a lot more copies around, man. There's a lot more used copies, too. And I feel like if I leave this unsealed, it might be worth a little something, especially if the Wii U has... Uh, backwards compatibility with the Wii games, which I don't see why it wouldn't. So, Pikmin 2. I love Pikmin 2. Uh, I'm tempted to go out and buy another copy of this just so I can have one to open, because it only costs 20 bucks. Maybe if more people go out and actually buy Pikmin 2, they might put them more in stores, but who knows. Alright. Uh, right. These are the three PS2 games that I bought that were fairly cheap. Let's start with this one just because I I used to want these games so bad back in the day and I actually had RPG Maker 1 which I have RPG Maker 2. I'll never play this. Um, <laughs> I just want to have it to have them. I want that as part of the collection. I want RPG Maker 1, RPG Maker 2, and RPG Maker 3 which I had pre-ordered when it was supposed to come out and then I never ended up picking it up uh, which is regrettable because I can't find that thing anywhere. I'm sure I can find it online for a reasonable price, but the thing that I want to do this is I, I want to do a hardcore video of <laughs> RPGs that I've made on there, and I would like to send it to Age Tech. I'm pretty sure Age Tech's not even around anymore, are they? Anybody know? Question of the day. Is Age Tech around? Because I think that they should make another RPG maker, and I, I think that it's the interest towards RPG Maker would be fueled a little more by the fact that Minecraft is so successful. I fucking love Minecraft, by the way. <laughs> I've been playing the shit on Minecraft. 360 and PC versions, by the way. So if you want to play either or, I'm down. Anyways, RPG Maker. I feel like it could make a comeback off of the shoulders of uh, Minecraft. Did I say RPG Craft? Whatever. Anyways, uh, Parappa the Rapper 2. Not as good as the first Parappa game, everybody knows that, but it's still a Parappa game, and unless he gets extreme popularity in um, uh, PlayStation All-Stars, which he's in, he looks pretty badass, by the way, I can't foresee him making too much of a comeback, especially since everybody wants their music games in fucking peripherals, I don't know why, but Parappa's great, Parappa is an icon an icon, a legend, who sadly is going to get buried. But it is a good thing they are showing him love in PlayStation All-Stars. Uh, the last PS2 game I got was the SNK Arcade Classics. Uh, the first volume. I do want the second volume. Um, I love SNK games. I do love the arcade games that SNK came out with. Um, huge fan of Metal Slug here. Justin and I played Metal Slug. He actually has this for Wii. And one night he came down we just drank beers and plowed through Metal Slug. It was great. Uh, there's also another game on here we plowed through that was Burning Fight, I think. Is that where you play as two dudes that are like, they got mullets and shit? I think it was called Burning Fight. We got smashed when we played that. Uh, I got a 360 game that I missed out on back in the day. Back in the day last year. Two years ago. When did it come out? Yeah, last year. Crisis 2. Never played Crisis 2. Um... I'm going to get into playing it. I, I definitely want to check this game out. Uh, I also missed out on the first Crisis. I do believe that Crisis was re-released on Xbox, and I probably should go get that first, but uh, this game was a reasonable price, so that's why I bought it. 
And I have a lot of friends who played Crisis 2, and they said it was phenomenal. So, hopefully. And here's the big, the big shebanga bang of what I got. This is uh, the hologram version of Majora's Mask. I got a steal for it. I got $20. And uh, I love Majora's Mask. I think I said it in one of my earlier videos about Ocarina of Time. I will bounce back and forth between this and Ocarina of Time, of which Zelda is my favorite one. And I really think when it comes down to it, I really think that Majora's Mask is the better of the Zelda games, and simply because I, I really thought about this rationally. Every Zelda, you have the freedom pretty much to do whatever you want, and even though they'll be like, oh my god, you need to hurry and help, you don't really have to hurry and help, you can go do all the side things that you want. In Majora's Mask, you have 72 hours to get this specific task done before you have to go back and start the next day. I have 72 hours of game time, of course. <laughs> so, I mean, you can put things off and you can do side missions, but you aren't getting anything else done in that allotted time because it gives you just enough time to complete this task and usually on your last day is when you end up going back. So, I fucking love Majora's Mask. I would love to do more videos about Majora's Mask. I've already done one. I will do another one, I swear. I love Majora's Mask, but yeah. So that's my pickup. Pretty light. Uh, but the fact is, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft lately, a lot of Lollipop Chainsaw, and I'm um, not getting much else done. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching.